Some viewers falsely believe feral pigs must be pre-baited for a minimum of 21 days to successfully capture them. While this action is required when using portable box straps and corral traps with narrow three foot wide thresholds, a 21 day baiting process is an unnecessary waste of fuel, time and labor when employing a mine trapping system. This segment will demonstrate how to properly execute our capture success matrix using a 35 foot diameter enclosure with eight foot wide threshold to reduce conditioning time to 96 hours or less. We will measure the fuel, time, and labor costs to implement the most efficient integrated wild pig control program. Step one of our capture success matrix is conditioning pigs to trust the bait site as a daily food source. We erected an automatic feeder with a digital timer set to dispense corn at 18.30 each night. An ice camera was positioned on a T-post mount within 25 feet of the feeder. This allowed us to receive immediate 3G text photos on our cell phones to begin collecting intel without traveling to the bait site daily. The sounder of two sows and six piglets discovered the feeder the first night on March 2nd. Night number two arrival on March 3rd was approximately an hour later than the previous night. They skipped the next night and arrived shortly after the feeder dispensed corn on March 5th. Heavy rains delayed their next visit until March 7th. Notice they arrived prior to bait dispensing in the first photo, but corn is on the ground in the second photo. We filled the feeder on March 8th and used the empty feed sacks to limit corn dispersal directly under the feeder. This step would later ensure bait stayed inside the trap enclosure when built. The sounder arrived on March 10th, finding three days of bait on the ground. Step two of our capture success matrix is to condition pigs to trust the corral enclosure as a daily food source. We built and camouflaged a double gate trap enclosure on March 11th in 90 minutes using two personnel. This design would allow the sounder to use two entrances and two exits with a mine gate centered on both trails. This juvenile was the only action at the enclosure on night one. An important part of being a successful trapper is to observe pig behavior and pay close attention to detail. This pig has a black spot on his chest and his entire left front leg is white. He is the alpha piglet and will lead the sounder each night into the enclosure. The alpha piglet always makes our job easier. He is brave enough to enter the trap enclosure first, allowing the rest of the litter to follow. The entire litter enters the gate enclosure for the first time at 2 a.m. on March 12th. Something spooked them eight minutes later, but notice the alpha pig leads them right back into the enclosure. March 12th is night two. Oftentimes we need the young dumb juveniles to become comfortable inside the trap enclosure before we are able to gain the adult sow's trust. This is a reason we bait with a bucket up to the gate when we build the enclosure. Adults must step through the gate threshold to be rewarded with food. The eight foot wide camouflage threshold allowed this sow to enter the gate for the first time within two minutes of arriving. The wind picked up and temporarily spooked them from the left gate. However, we experienced the same quick entry scenario at the right gate. Both sows arrived at 2209 and cautiously entered the eight foot wide camouflage threshold within one minute. Observe the playful, comfortable behavior of the six juveniles. Their bellies are full and this sounder has already been conditioned to trust the 35 foot diameter enclosure. We could have effectively dropped the gates with a 100% capture within 36 hours of building the enclosure after expending less than four hours of total labor. However, our mine trapping system uses remote SMS technology and allows a human to be in complete control of the capture. We chose not to trigger the gates closed since we were working another hog removal contract 100 miles away. Leaving eight pigs in the trap overnight would have educated other pigs on the property and ruined this location for future captures. 
Here is an example of how deer also quickly learn to trust the 8 foot wide camouflage threshold. Observe Alpha Pig leading his litter mates into the trap enclosure on the morning of the 13th. Notice the body language of the pigs. Their tails are erect as if they are on alert for danger. The sow enters the gate threshold with little concern. Watch the reaction of this lone boar as he encounters the enclosure for the first time. He obviously likes what he smells, but not what he sees. Adult boars do not get this big by being stupid. Alpha Pig leads the sounder into the trap enclosure before dark on the 13th. However, this is the first time their mother has entered the gate threshold during daylight hours and reacts negatively. Observe her behavior when she returns three minutes later. She drops to her knees at the gate threshold to examine the situation for a moment, then enters the enclosure to feed. We thought it was odd that we had not observed the second sow during the past 24 hours. However, the next footage would explain why the hant boar arrived yesterday morning and these two boars arrived tonight. The second sow was obviously coming into estrus and every boar on the property wanted a piece of the action. Alpha Pig did his job every night leading the sounder into the enclosure like clockwork. Here he is on March 14th, March 15th, March 16th, and March 17th. Notice a half hemp boar picking up the sow and estrus scent in the rain on the 17th. Watch this daytime rutting action. Observe the boar forcefully nosing the sow in the ribs, emitting characteristic grunts, chomping his teeth, and producing foaming saliva. She is not receptive or she would stand still with back arched and ears cocked. We believe she is coming out of estrus from the breeding behavior witnessed five days earlier. Alpha Pig leads the sounder into the enclosure one last time on March 18th. We received the text photo at 2022 and simply texted the trigger code back to the mine camera to simultaneously drop both gates. We quickly and quietly dispatched all eight pigs with a suppressed 22 caliber rifle. Let's reinforce the steps of our capture success matrix. Did we condition pigs to use a daily food source? Yes. All eight pigs used a bait site within 12 hours of erecting the automatic feeder. Did we condition the entire sounder to trust the corral enclosure? Yes. All eight pigs entered the trap to feed within 36 hours of building the enclosure. Did we utilize the optimum trigger device? Absolutely. We remotely triggered both gates closed using the Mine Camera SMS technology to obtain a 100% capture. This segment successfully demonstrated the efficient removal of the entire sounder in a matter of days while expending less than four hours of total labor. The mine trapping system, using our capture success matrix and integrated wild pig control strategies, proved to be a more efficient control method, saving fuel, time, and labor over traditional approaches requiring a 21-day pre-bait routine. The next video in our series will continue to demonstrate feral hog behavior, so viewers will better understand how to accomplish 100% captures for more effective hog control. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral hog populations in your area.
be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to send us a message through Facebook or email us at info at jaegerpro.com.